Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and thick forests, lived a young girl named Sarah. Sarah was known far and wide, not for her beauty, though she was beautiful, not for her intelligence, though she was clever, but for her boundless kindness. In a world where kindness sometimes seemed in short supply, Sarah had it in abundance. Sarah lived with her parents in a modest cottage at the edge of the village. Her father, a humble carpenter, and her mother, a skilled weaver, had always taught her that true wealth wasn't measured in gold or silver, but in the goodness of one's heart. And so, Sarah grew up sharing what little she had with those who had even less. The village where Sarah lived was a place where everyone knew each other, and life was simple yet challenging. The villagers were farmers, craftsmen, and laborers, working hard to make ends meet. Though they were not wealthy, they were rich in community spirit, always ready to help a neighbor in need. Yet, as time passed, life's struggles and hardships began to harden the hearts of some, making them less open, less giving, and more concerned with their own troubles. But not Sarah. Even as the world around her grew colder, she remained a beacon of warmth and generosity. She could always be found helping the elderly with their chores, comforting children who were upset, or simply offering a kind word to those who needed it. Her kindness was like a gentle rain, nourishing everything it touched. One chilly winter's morning, as Sarah was walking to the market, she noticed an old woman sitting by the side of the road. The woman was shivering in the cold, her clothes tattered and worn. Most villagers walked past her, too busy or too preoccupied with their own concerns to stop. But Sarah could not just walk by. She approached the old woman with a gentle smile. Good morning, ma'am. You look cold. Please take my shawl, Sarah said, her voice filled with warmth. The old woman looked up at Sarah with tired eyes. She hesitated, but Sarah wrapped the shawl around her shoulders, feeling the old woman's frail body tremble less as the warmth began to seep in. Thank you, my dear. You are too kind. But why do you give your shawl to an old beggar like me? You have so little yourself, the old woman asked, her voice trembling. Kindness is the only thing that grows when you share it. If I can bring you a little comfort, then I am richer for it, Sarah replied with a smile. The old woman's eyes glistened with tears as she grasped Sarah's hands in gratitude. Little did Sarah know that this simple act of kindness was the beginning of something far greater. The next day, as Sarah went about her daily tasks, she noticed something strange happening in the village. People who had once been indifferent, or even unkind, began to show signs of change. The grocer, who was known for being grumpy, offered Sarah an extra loaf of bread for free. The blacksmith, who rarely smiled, gave her a warm greeting as she passed by. Even the children, who often played rough, were seen sharing their toys and helping each other. Sarah couldn't understand what had caused this sudden change in people's behavior, but she was glad to see the village becoming a kinder place. One evening, as she was preparing supper, there was a knock on the door. When Sarah opened it, she found the old woman standing there, but she looked different. Her clothes were clean, her face less haggard, and there was a certain glow about her that hadn't been there before. Sarah, my dear, you may not remember me, but I am the woman you helped yesterday. I have come to repay your kindness, the old woman said, her voice calm and steady. Sarah was taken aback. She hadn't expected anything in return for her small gesture. Please, you don't owe me anything. I only did what anyone should do, Sarah replied, her voice gentle. But not everyone would have done what you did, Sarah. Your kindness is rare, and it has not gone unnoticed. I am not just an old beggar. I am someone who can offer you something in return. I can grant you a wish anything your heart desires, the old woman offered, her eyes twinkling with a mysterious light. 
Sarah was astonished. A wish? She had never even considered such a thing. But what could she wish for? Riches? Fame? Power? No, those things didn't matter to her. As she thought carefully, she realized that there was one thing she wanted more than anything. Thank you for your offer, but I don't wish for wealth or power. If I could have one wish, it would be for everyone in the village to have a kind heart, to care for each other, and to live in harmony, Sarah said sincerely. The old woman smiled, a deep knowing smile, and nodded. As you wish, Sarah, your heart is truly pure. From this day forward, your wish shall be granted. The village will be a place of kindness and love. Just as you have always wished, the old woman said, her voice full of warmth and promise. The old woman then vanished into the night, leaving Sarah standing in the doorway, her heart full of hope and wonder. The next day, as Sarah walked through the village, she noticed the change immediately. People were kinder, more patient, and more generous. The baker gave bread to the hungry without asking for payment. The tailor mended clothes for those who couldn't afford it. Even the children played together without quarrel, sharing their toys and looking out for each other. The village had indeed transformed, just as the old woman had promised. And it wasn't just for a day or a week, but forever. Sarah's wish had created a lasting change, and the village became known far and wide as the village of kindness. Travelers who passed through were always amazed at the warmth and generosity of the villagers. They would often ask how such a place could exist in a world that could be so harsh. And the villagers would always tell them about Sarah, the girl who had taught them the true power of kindness. Years passed, and Sarah grew older, but her heart remained as kind as ever. She continued to help those in need, to offer comfort and support wherever she could. And the village continued to thrive, a beacon of hope and compassion in a world that sometimes lost its way. One day, as Sarah was sitting by the river, watching the sunset, she felt a presence beside her. She turned to see the old woman standing there once again looking just as she had the day they first met. Sarah, you have done more than anyone could have ever imagined. The village is a place of kindness and love, just as you wished. I have come to offer you one more wish, as a reward for all that you have done, the old woman said, her voice filled with admiration. Sarah thought for a moment, but she shook her head with a smile. There is nothing more that I need. My heart is full knowing that everyone here is happy and kind. I wish only for this to continue. Long after I am gone, Sarah replied. Her voice peaceful. Your wish will be granted, Sarah. The kindness you have sown will grow for generations to come, the old woman said, her voice soft and full of promise. And with that, the old woman vanished, leaving Sarah alone by the river, but her heart was not alone. It was filled with the love and gratitude of an entire village. Sarah lived the rest of her days in peace, surrounded by the kindness she had inspired. When she passed away, the village mourned deeply, but they honored her by continuing to live by the values she had taught them. And so, the story of Sarah and her kindness became a legend passed down from generation to generation, a reminder of the power of a kind heart. In the end, Sarah didn't just change the village, she changed the world, one small act of kindness at a time. So remember, dear listeners, kindness is a gift that we all can give. It costs nothing, but its value is beyond measure. Like Sarah, we can all make the world a better place by simply being kind. The next time you see someone in need, offer them your kindness. You never know it might just change their life, and yours too.